um, I want to indulge you for a moment. I want to take you through three timelines with one word, change. When I said change, I took you through the past, the present, and the future because all three of those things happened a few seconds ago. What I want to ask you is, did you pay attention to a red object in the room, a brown object in the room? Did you pay attention to what you're smelling, what you're hearing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling? All of those things influence how we see the future, how we experience the future. And if we're not paying attention to all of our surroundings and our environment and being present, we can't have a very good trajectory of where the future is going. With that being said, I am absolutely privileged to invite my friend Franz van der Kolf with us again. If you look and scroll up, you will find him. Um, we've interviewed him before. We, we spoke about African storytelling. And I wanted to bring Franz back so that we can have a discussion as he is the wizard of African storytelling. And just look at the world as it is now, as it is today, and apply a layer of consciousness in terms of being aware of what is happening in our surroundings, where is the wisdom, and what can we learn from our continent, Africa? This is a very important point because 65% of our people below the age of 25, as I say, in the future, we're going to not so near future, we're going to have one out of every four youths from this continent. But what are we sending our youth into? Unemployment, this power issue, this environment that you have to be destructive to be successful, that's what we've created. It lies again in the collaboration. Eh? Mm -hmm. We need to create, because this can be very dangerous. If we have all this of this big part of our population, they can grow up and have no jobs. We've got enormous, enormous uh, 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 joblessness on our continent. And we, we, we are not creating meaning and purpose for our young people. And mm. that should be our focus entirely. Because if we have a continent with all those young people, where they have meaning and purpose, where we've got opportunities for them, we will thrive. But if we are sending them into the current continent, where there are no, and this is world.